or I guess airplane, some Udir top lane versus Gangplank. And what we have this game is Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Lessened. Then we also have Biscuits. And then we're also running Cosmic together with a Dawn's Blade. Now, this game, I want to be going for the Ulm Head Blade into Trinity build. And as you can notice, I also have my uh, Blade. Uh, I also have my Dawn's Blade instead of the D-Shield. So normally in this matchup, I would definitely go D-Shield. But right now, all I want to try and achieve is the absolute maximum damage you can obtain. And then as soon as we get a chance to all in this guy, we're going to take it and all in. So will be the plan. Also, believe it or not, like as we're playing save anyways, this is my first time ever playing with the Devolt version of Udyr, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've always played with the legendary skin. It feels so weird to play Udyr right now. This was awkward. If you're being used to the legendary skin, this doesn't feel right anymore. <laughs> All right, I'll take my Q here. We'll just give the lane to Gangplank. Since we don't have this shield but pure damage, we're definitely not going for any kind of traits, really. Only for the last hit. Alright. Kane is pathing topside. I really like that. We're definitely going to lose a couple last hits. There's unfortunately not much you can do about it. I think we're, we might get a kill already. Wait a second. Okay, I think he definitely backed off the entire way. Actually, he didn't. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Hmm. Goodbye. Got you for free. Literally, all I did was I just all in with my Dorn's Blade. <laughs> I pop my ghost and I just kill him like that. Genius move, bro. That's how I deal with these people. Alright, nice shove. Gotta hurry up, though. He's gonna get back soon. Yeah, and technically he is already back. Nice. It's actually getting under tower. Okay, that's fantastic. The first thing that we're going to do is we are directly going into the Berserker's Greaves, okay? This is going to sound a little bit weird. I know. Um, however, the Berserker's Greaves is needed to walk up to him easier, and the attack speed allows me to burst them, actually getting my damage off faster. <clears throat> We got three points in my Q so far. We have three more to go. Let's see. This guy has got three of these. He's got a biscuit, so he hasn't been able to buy anything. So we killed him before. He wasn't able to buy the Sheen. So he's kind of stuck up in the lane right now. Um, This is a challenge here. Hold on. We got to thin this out far enough. Because if the wave gets on our tower, he will reset. I'm pretty sure Gameplank is going to try and get the Sheen. Nice. And he's dead again. Fantastic. All we're doing is playing around the power spikes. He's working like a charm right now. Push this one. All right. Next wave. They gotta hurry up for real. Like Gangplank is gonna get back soon. Actually, the fall doesn't feel so bad. Feels uh, surprisingly good. I don't know. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we'll specifically go into Blade of the Room King. This item is needed in order to snowball the rest of the game. Because um, it provides me the on-hit damage for all-ins. 
And on top of that, it allows me to just chase him better after we get the blade effect. Let's see. He's shoving very hard, but he's not going to get a plating. Okay. We'll see what happens. I, I suspect that he's definitely resetting again, but I might be wrong. Okay, I, I'm actually wrong here. He's actually staying. I have a plan. Check this out. Goodbye, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> this champion is so, like, no brain. It's so funny how this champion works. <laughs> Literally the strategy all all the time. Just all in. No, there's no traits needed with this champion. You're just all inning at any given moment. And the real fun is only about to begin. Sides of the barrel. What's going on? Okay, got it. Yeah, I don't think I can get another trade off. No, I'm just gonna back off just in case. Actually, that hit! Unbelievable! The barrel hit! I'm still getting the reset. I think I might lose the plating. He's probably going to get it. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't really need help. I can just kill him myself. There you go. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's over this gangplank, man. I'm I'm scaling by the way. Like Udir is uh, besides an early game, the mid late game of Udir is absolutely ridiculous. Nice push. I'm gonna use the empowered auto like on our tower, so we can get this faster. Nice. Uh, I'm getting ganked from the top side. I'll walk away from this. I think I might. I don't know, man. Nah. It's a bit too risky. I was considering it, but it's not a smart move. There's an Ud There's actually an Olaf walking my direction. Actually, there's a Pike. There's three people top side, bro. Okay. Please overextend. Nah, it's not overextending. Let's push this. We're getting the. We're about to get Blade of Room King. Okay, let's get it. Oh, we can tank that barrel if it comes in. Every single one of them. Okay. 400 is all it takes. Gotta be careful once again. Could be an Olav. We could maybe try and stay. Maybe. What if I walk this direction? Hold on. Alright. So 100 is all I'm missing. I could try and like rush the tower down. I think he will allow me to do it. Ooh, he's thinking I'm gonna dive him. Wait. Okay, we got it. This guy is giving up his tower. 
Makes sense. We could technically burst him on our tower. It would be a risky though, so I wouldn't actually do it. Let's go back. So now we're going to go Blade. And after Blade, we're going to go into Trinity Force. Nice. Let's go Blue Chink it. And let's run back top set. I'm going to be trying to kill Gangplank once again. I hope that he's going to overextend. I hope he's going to try and take this wave. I think I could probably make it. Yes. <laughs> Wait a second. Please stay. I'm just going to pop my ghosts. Pop the empowered one. Nice. So after we take this one, we're going to go for jungle camps as well. Got to prioritize these. And we'll use that to like make the the Ola fall behind. So the only job we got now is just to consistently keep on pushing. Keep on taking jungle camps. Keep going for catches. Top, mid. Maybe even jungle. Let's go. Would be nice if there's a blue. Nah, it's taken. Obviously. Also, like, if you're playing Udyr and Tob, absolutely don't mind using the empowered ability if you have to for claiming speed. It's absolutely worth it because you can just charge it back super fast anyway. Look, we uh, used the empowered ability on the jungle camp on the top. Now we're using it on the wolves. Look at this. If you change a couple times, like, you can get it back super fast anyway. Let's go. You're dead again. <laughs> I got no flash for this. Okay. I mean, I don't have ghost. Thank you. Appreciate it. There's an Olaf right here. Wait a second. What's going on? This guy is prioritizing me so much. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Love when that happens. All right. I think I suspect this is a blue as it just respawned. I don't think he's taken it because he didn't have the blue. Yeah. What if? Maybe he'll overextend for the wave. I'll just try to be patient. Oh, there's no laugh again. I could have to run. Oh man. Even if you reach me, bro. You'll never make it. I'm like 500 away to get by Trinity Force. I'm like so close. You know, actually playing... Default Udi for the first time ever instead of the legendary one. This actually isn't so bad. I thought that the default version was like so much worse, but it's actually quite a nice one. Like playing the default, seeing it in Champions, that kind of remind me of how bad the uh, the old one used to look like. Next wave. Well, we'll take next wave and then get their jungle camps. And we're like really close to Trinity Force. Oh, nice. Yeah, this will get me my uh, this will get me my item. There you go. All right, let's go Trinity Force. You're not going to do this right. You're not doing this. Ah, oh, he probably had vision, man. <laughs> he probably had vision. 
<laughs> oh man. I could have technically just like cancelled it and just gone for him, but I would have to press coast and of course he can flash. Would be a bad idea. Let's see, let's just grab another one of these. Olaf is mid, good to know. <laughs> this Olaf and MF is actually getting kills. Alright, we have a choice here. We can go for the wolves. Okay, so that's apparently taken. He knows that I'm here. So what we can do is... Um, we can fight GP when he comes from the corner. Who knows this might work. Anybody wants to take that wave. Or... I think we're getting even more lucky because I suspect that MF is going to walk up here. Ah! I should have moved slightly faster, bro. My calculations were perfect. They were literally perfect. If I just move slightly faster, man. That would have been super clean. Oh, let's take it again. This time we're keeping the empowered ability because I suspect that we're going to get into a team fight. I could maybe... Ooh, I can maybe burst them. Well, say goodbye, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, I don't know, man. I feel like I actually prefer the Vault more than the Legendary one. Sounds a bit weird. But I'm liking it. This is not bad in my opinion. Let's grab the jungle camp again. Nice. It's a team fight in the jungle. I'm uh, thinking towards getting the hole breaker as the, ne as the next item. Because the hole breaker provides us movement speed percentage. Which will make chasing down even better. Actually, let's go for the pickaxe just for some raw damage. We're going to be moving towards the blue. And from blue buff, I think we're going to go to Balen. I want to try and get the tier 2 tower on Balen as well. Nice. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh, he's, he, knows, he knows that I'm here, man. He knows it. Ah, too bad. Uh, that guy's probably gonna die. That's a bit too challenging. Hmm. Four people. I, I suspect there's probably wards. one. We're going to catch the MF. Ah, she knows about it. Ah, I can't help. Ah, oh, this is actually a nightmare. <laughs> That's such a massive team fight. I try to go for MF. It was like the best choice. But as it turns out, there was a ward. That is so sad, man. I would have turned around. Okay, I hope there's a blue buff. Yes. Alright, cool. That's nice one. I got it. Just have a long road to go for. The enemy team is getting quite fed. Hmm, I might have to consider getting just a few uh, jungle camps along the way. Yeah, 
Let's go back. Oh okay, yeah, we can buy the hole breaker now. We're gonna go ball in. Let's go. Uh, the next item we go for is probably going to be a specifically a dead man's blade, because again, it, it provides us the five percent movement speed. Always good to have. The more movement speed you have on Udir, the better it is generally. It's the same same way like Garen. Let's go for jungle camp. Two people are mid. Dragon spawns in like 55. I suspect somebody is going to defend Balain or not. Okay, let's walk away. There's multiple people Balain. I'm actually very happy to see my teammates going for Baron because if. We are left alone with Gangplank here. We can definitely take him on. No. Got him. Thank you. Alright, next tower. Nice. Okay. And we got two kills, tower, everything, just because we made the call for Baron. Now we have 2.3k gold. And hopefully we can get some more jungle camps now. Before we do, though, I need to pick up this one. Nice, just before Olaf gets here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Olaf actually beats us right there? <laughs> no way. Well, I, I couldn't quite use me on my hole breaker, but whatever, man. That Olaf actually crushed us right there. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's totally Olaf right there. 3.3k. Alright. Uh, yeah, that makes me question whether I even want to go for the um, Deadman's Blade, because we're getting literally wrecked. Hold on. I think it would be better if we specifically go Thormel. We're going to go Thormel. There you go. We need damage reflection, but we also need healing reduction. That will allow me to 1v1 him again. And then like last item is a little bit situational. I am th thinking towards probably Hydra as a last item. Sounds a bit weird again because it's like as a final item. It's not something you typically build. But I do think it works super well this game. Just to be a fall breaker build. Nice. Got it. We need to get ball in as fast as possible. I'll use the empowered ability. Because the faster we push, the better it's going to be. Or, you know, maybe maybe a Deadman's Blade will work after all. If I think about it now, they're basically full AD. Okay, she walks away. Sure. Hmm, I need some space for Balin. Yeah, we got him. My team can go Baron if they want to. I'll just be pushing ball in. Yeah, they can do it. 
I could probably one versus three though. I wish I had my ghost available. Hmm. All right, say goodbye, buddy. Woof! That movement speed. Wow. She outruns some my full build. Unbelievable. Wow, that's insane. She was that fast. Okay. Well, I guess we can catch up to this guy. Ah, he flashes. Oh, they had so many summoner spells, bro. They've had like a countless like amount of flashes and everything. <laughs> ah, too bad, man. This game is actually more challenging than I thought it was going to be. Because they are extremely, extremely fed. Alright, I think that a Deadman's Blade after all isn't so bad because we get more armor. And we also get the movement speed effect so we can chase down better. Then again, I'm still thinking towards Hydra. But I need more movement speed, so... Yeah. I'm gonna build it. I can't really go without the movement speed. We will eventually get the red potion too, so we're still going to get more damage eventually. So we need like okay 700 next dragon spawns in five seconds we need to get that dragon i'm gonna see if i can prioritize the mf because i think that they will they probably won't expect it oh, okay the mf already walked away not oh, too bad Okay, we're not going to team fight. I think that the team fight is going to make us lose very hard. I'm going to let my teammates fight for it. I'm just going to see if I can end. Well, we'll see what we can do. We cut the towers down. They used all their TPs, everything to get me, man. Two teleports, five backports. We actually managed to get the tower, bro. Unbelievable. Look how close we are to my item. I am actually very glad we didn't go for the team fight because I'm pretty sure we wouldn't win the team fight. Okay. Well, yeah, of course, at the cost of Baron. I think if I would be here and lose the team fight, we wouldn't have anything at all, and they would probably still eventually get Baron. Nice. We're going to be running mid, probably. I think I'm probably going to do the same strategy. Teammates are getting wrecked. Enemy double kill. Uh, we have a problem. Enemy Pretty bad one, because they are going to end the game. Uh, two people clearing down Balin. This is a insane sort of risk I'm taking. What? They knew that very well. Oh. What? Oh. Oh no. So I, I jumped this. I jumped from here to here. And it's probably been warded. I don't know. But these guys, bro, they, they were on the corner. 
They're on the corner, man. What? That's perfectly planned. Unbelievable. Even the barrels were set, were set up. Oh man, I'm dead for like 30 seconds. I'm still feeling pretty good about this game. I think it's uh, I think it's still winnable, but I have to try and destroy it and, and hip right now. That completely changes everything. And I also think that there's probably a barrel set somewhere. They can just teleport. Because I think it's getting back soon. Wait, we need to push this out all the way. There you go. Oh! Shut down. They're getting stuff done. An ally has been slain. Okay, there's wards. They know what I'm doing. They know what I'm doing for sure. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, this is unbelievably challenging bro this olaf is so strong the worst thing is that gangplank isn't getting out of base this gangplank is staying up here and that's fine i can 1v1 the gangplank i'm all good but we also face our bard this bard doesn't leave the base either there's always two people in base and my teammates are too weak to go four against three let's buy one of these It is extremely challenging to play this out. They have so much vision, apparently. Like, I can't go this direction to end the base. Because they apparently have vision here. I can't go this direction, because they also have vision here. Even from the lane, they have vision. Because they apparently set this up. So I'm going to try something different. Hmm, 34 minutes in this game. It's getting challenging to even get the inhib down. Alright, let's go. Nice. If this pushes in, we can basically sort of open up the map a little bit more. All right. Nice. GG. Oh dear. Oh dear, man. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, this is it with your top lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.